welcome back to my channel. I'm Milly, and today I'm going to show you what's inside our morning basket. My daughter is three years old, so I'm going to show you what we are using. But first, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch more videos related to motherhood and lifestyle. I upload new videos every week. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so here is the basket we're using. This is a cute pink one that I found at Marshalls, but you can use any basket or container that you have, it's fine. And as I said, my daughter is three years old. We are homeschooling right now. She's, we're doing some kind of preschool homeschooling. It's not that strict and structured, but still we are trying to practice some things. I, I have just a few books and some activities for her. Okay, so first we start with the Bible. This is the beginner's Bible. This is the Spanish version, but they have one in English too. And we start with this is, um, has, as you can see, pictures here with stories. It has, it has around 90 short stories. So they can start learning the Bible. It's a great alternative if you want to start introducing your kids to the Bible so they can start learning about it. It's a great option, I really like it. It's easy to read and catches their attention. Yeah, it's great. I'll leave the links of the things I'm mentioning down below if you want to check them out. Then we use um, this alphabet book. I mentioned this before in one of my videos. It's the LMNOPs. And see here by Keith Baker. And he has all the letters here A, B, C, and some pictures with words, for example, A, acrobats, artists, astronauts, and B, C, and so on. It's a great way to practice the alphabet. D, drivers, so on interactive a great option too then is this book called I'm going to preschool this is actually when your kids are preparing to go to preschool or to pre-k I'm going to are going to school for the first time it's good it has tips settling children into preschool for parents and carers and explain how the parents take the kids to preschool and they have friends there and everything to so they can be prepared when they go uh, to the school for the first time it has it's a flip book she likes open these things and yeah it's a great option you want to prepare them for their first day of school it's a good read anyway then we are reading the Sesame Street. We are different, we are the same, and we are all wonderful. This is um, a new book that we are reading. It's about diversity, explained really well for them, for them to understand. It's really easy to read. It's very simple, but explain it, as I said, really well. For example, our hair is different, and our hair is the same. It grows on us, it warms our head and frames our faces. Our mouths are different, but they are the same. Their lips form their words. We say that in smile when it's a happy day. So we are different, we are the same. It's a great option for start learning this from a very young age. I think it's important. And then since we're starting fall, this is called You Are My Little Pumpkin Pie. So, a cute book with pictures and fall related things. Really easy to read. It says, Celebrate Your Little Pumpkin Pie with this sweet and colorful rhyming board book. Cats, ghosts, you are my special spooky ghost, you are my baby boo. It's really sweet for this time. It's great. 
and then I have a couple of activities. I keep here our alphabet flashing cards. These are great. I think I got them on a Target. It has the uppercase and lowercase letters. And each one has a picture. That for example, apple, A, D, dog, and so on. It's really interactive. And I have these um, cards from the measuredmom.com that I printed to practice numbers. Has, for example, they have to count here how many ladybugs there are here. And then you put the clothes, they put a clothes pin in the correct number. And the same with all of these cards. It's a great way to practice counting and numbers. Then these puzzles from 1 to 10 and from 11 to 20. So they have to put the numbers in order so they can form a picture. This has pictures at the beach. It's great to practice numbers and counting too. Then I have here in this folder, here are some printouts with the letter we're working on that day. For example, A have just a couple of printouts so she can color and trace the letter. This is all A. This, this one here. These ones are from totschooling.net. Yeah, they have great resources there too. Next, we have this um, printout so she can practice writing her name. It's in this plastic sheet, so we can use a dry and erase marker, so we can do it over and over again. From Tote School in that net too. Very practical. And finally, we have this board, again with a dry and erase marker. She can draw here and practice to the letters has this line so she can practice writing. It's great too. And yeah, this is everything that is in our morning basket. As I said, there are not that many books, it's books with activities. Since she's three years old, we're just doing some basic stuff, nothing too structured. I think it's working so far. I keep changing from time to time the books and the activities we do because they get more fast. So yeah, this is everything we're doing for our morning time or circle time. And let me know in the comments what other things you have in your morning basket that you use with your kids. Let me know. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.